Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Vogue. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3.6 TD V8 Vogue. Five door, 2007 on a 57 plate. Has done 105,386 miles. MOT till the 7th of 4th, 2024. Fuel consumption, urban, 19.5 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 30.7 miles per gallon. And combined is 25 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 8.6 seconds and a top speed of 124 miles per hour out of a 272 brake horsepower 32 valve engine. Now it's a bit of a treat for me today because I really love these. I love this shape. To me, this is a proper Range Rover. When you're driving it, it still drives as good as it did probably the day it came out of the showroom. And I would say it drives just as good as my Range Rover Sport that I use every day. It's a really, really good car and cheap. If you look after this, there's, I see no reason why it will ever be worth any less. It's a lovely, lovely car, great condition. You wouldn't need to do a whole lot to, to kind of get it back to virtually concourse. There is a dent on the other wheel arch, which actually looks like it's part of the wheel arch. We'll get our dent man to have a look at it. I can't promise he'll make it 100%, but I think he'll probably make it better. But apart from that, you, you can't notice anything. I mean, it, it's just lovely condition. Um, if you went to town on the interior, we, we've got a upholstery guy. He'd make that look like new too. It's showing a couple of signs of, of wear and aging, but nothing, nothing too bad. And as I, as I say, I, I, just, I just love it. Um, it. It really is fantastic condition. Pirelli Scorpions all round. Rear privacy glass, vents here, the, the big crush bar, the stone bar, high pressure headlamp wash, kind of body colour Range Rover badge which makes it look even better, very very classy, uh, silver grill, Land Rover badge as well, the, the black badge, front parking sensors, split rear tailgate, little switch underneath there, reversing camera at the top there, rear wash wipe hidden away under the integrated spoiler so up like so split tailgate hard rear load cover full-size spare wheel so you can have a have a seat here when you go out in the country in a picnic it's just a proper british gentleman's british ladies car too they are fantastic as i say for the amount we we're asking for this this car you couldn't get anything you you really couldn't it's just it's such fantastic value for money somebody needs to buy it perhaps as a second car perhaps as a car to go to shows at weekend and, and sit there and sit in the back here and, and talk to customers you know the classic the, the car shows where you go and you enjoy other people's company tell them all about your car what it's done what it's got on it uh, and you don't lecture people about um, using dinosaur juice. You have a good time. <laughs> you, you don't get all bent out of shape because somebody's driving a car that's powered by fuel that you, you don't agree with. So if you buy this, enjoy it. And, uh, and I can promise you, you will. It's, uh, it, it really is a tremendous car. Look, again. No power tailgate, but, but all you have to do, look, you get your hand and you go, and it shuts quicker than a power tailgate. So, bags of headroom. It's got a tilt slide, glass sunroof there. Loads of legroom. I've, I've put the seat forward a little bit just to make it easier for me to get in and out. But sat in the back here, even the center, where usually you, you, you end up sat on the kind of hump there or over the gear tunnel, one leg at either side, it's, it's flipping great. Heated seats, your own uh, heater controls. Just, just really, really lovely. Got there. I mean, it, it's, it just really is lovely. Even that. Range Rover, Land Rover, cup holders built into what really is a head restraint for the third person. 
Um, fantastic, Be absolutely best cars in the world. And, and I love cars like this because every time anybody says anything about Land Rovers or Range Rovers, oh, they're unreliable, they're always breaking down. Uh. <laughs> In 2007, looks like brand new, drives like brand new. Um, you know, people get it so wrong. They really, really do. People love to hate for some reason. And I've said it before in videos, and I don't understand why. They love to hate British product when it's actually the best in the world. Leads the way. Best vehicle on the road. Um, all right, you've got to repair things occasionally. But it's not just Range Rover, it's not just Land Rover. It's all of them. And uh, we do honestly get fewer problems with Range Rover and Land Rover than we do with BMs, Mercs, Audis. Um, that's all I can say. And if they cause loads of problems. We don't like problems. If they cause loads of problems, we wouldn't sell them. We, we, we'd buy somewhere else. You know, we, we go out and buy Range Rovers. Why do we do that? Are we masochists? Do we want people ringing up saying, hey, I've broken down and, you know, I'm going to leave you a rotten review on Google. I'm going to do this and that. We don't, trust me. Anyway, let's get on. Okay, let's go for a drive. Oh. Weather's taking a bit of a turn for the worse, <laughs> but anyway, oh, sorry, it's there. There we go, so foot on the brake. On we go, heated seats are on, heated steering wheel. Just turn the heated down, although that's on the way up. You've got heated front screen, heated rear screen. Tell you the service history. Sixteenth of seven, two thousand and eight, seven thousand six hundred and six miles. Williams Land Rover. Second of eleven, two thousand and nine, twenty thousand and eighty one miles. Williams Land Rover. Twelfth of the first, two thousand and eleven, at thirty two thousand nine hundred fifty two miles. Williams Land Rover. Thirty first of the first, two thousand and twelve, forty three thousand one hundred miles. Williams Land Rover. 28th of the 1st, 2013, 55,251 miles, Williams Land Rover. 10th of the 12th, 2014, 67,941 miles, Darren Wood Limited. 10th of the 10th, 2018, 88,937 miles, Church Lane Garage. 2nd of the 9th, 2021, at 96,139 miles, Finney Service Centre. 20th of the 10th, 2021, 96,806 miles. Finished service centre, distant pads all round two. It's done 105,307 miles now. Um, and uh, the, the chap bought the last Sport that I was using. So he obviously loves his Land Rovers. Oh, you can see there, squirrel box. The blue tips flying in and out. Right, okay, so let's see what else we've got. We've got power forming door mirrors. In to drive, three position memory seats. Um, I accidentally pressed the third one before when I set mine, so, but this one is number two. So, yeah, not too bad. That's, uh, There we go. So, backrest there, even the headrest, up and down, back, got lumbar support, and then you've got electrically operated height and reach adjustable multifunction steering mm -hmm. wheel. Just get a bit further away than that, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's it. So, everything on. The steering wheel's nice and toasty, and uh, I need it today. Nice 3.6 V8 32 valve engine. Chugs away. 
Now, if you're going to buy this car, bear in mind it's what 2007, what 16, nearly 17 years old. It's not going to be perfect. We will give it a warranty. It's not all the electrics, it's mechanical warranty. We're not trying to get out of anything, but you can't sell cars at this price, obviously, that um, we would perhaps trade it to somebody else, but this is too good for us to trade. So if you want a, a good car or a good car to start, come and see us. We'll uh, try and sort a deal out for you. And you must promise us that you're going to keep it in this condition and look after it and not flipping ruin it. Just, you know, nice car, it's got time climber, it's got sat nav, electric windows all round. We have cruise control as well. Nice big steering wheel. It's like steering a big oil tanker. But it is, it, it's a lovely car. It's got carpet over mats. If I knock that across there, I can change up and down, down, pull backwards towards me, up, again, no point, put it in drive, enjoy it. You've got your terrain response here, the heater is toasty. We're just doing oh, 30, about 37, so I'll just increase the speed. Get it to 40 here. Which is a limit. Heated seats are, need to switch them off actually. There, as you see, you can have the back or the seat squab on as well. So we'll have both of those on, turn it down to number one and nice and toasty. Electric tilt and slide. That's the tilt position, letting fresh air in, not too much wind noise. That's closed and of course you can also have it like with a blind across it. Just knock that over there. So electric door mirrors, that's one. Knock it across there. As you can see, those work fine. Again, a, a, a very nice car. If, if your expectations are managed, and as I say, you realize how much we're asking for this, and you, you kind of take it as a base to make a very, very nice car. It's a very nice car now. A little work would be a very, very nice car. And, uh, but it, it drives superb. We'll take it up the motorway, see what it's like. And then I think today, it's the uh, Carvery Butty Shop, who do Christmas, well it's not Butty, sh it's, a, it's a Butty van, on Walton Summit and they do lovely Carveries. Got front centre armrest there. We've also got adjustable armrest there, lumbar support, little switch at the front there. If I can find it, there it is. Yep, so that's lumbar support. Just moving it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's that's the spot. Nice wooden inset. 
got Harman Kardon speakers as well. I mean, honestly, it just seems to drive as good. I don't indicate, for goodness sake, come around the wrong side and then don't indicate what could possibly go wrong. You just want a two and a half ton Range Rover pulling out in front of you. Just to make you Christmas. Oops. Turn the speed there, but nice. You know, don't be buying a Range Rover to go flying around everywhere. If you want to be, if you want to go somewhere and you want to be, your journey to be comfortable and to feel safe. Today, absolutely blowing a gale. There were bins blowing all over the place last night. It was so windy. When you're in this. In, in, in fact, there's a tree down on my way to work this morning. But you're in this. No worries. We've also got there, look, two cup holders, but with a louver shutter or two louver shutters. Just big armchair and no dramas. The graduated tint in the windscreen there, as I mentioned before, it's a heated front, front windscreen. <laughs> very windy, a little bit of wind noise, but it's very windy today. Hardly any road noise at all. Nice and quiet. in that engine growling what a beast and a blast from the past absolutely toasty in here. I'm gonna, it's that warm, I'm going to have to turn the heating down. And here we go. Wipers all good. And hopefully they are still working. And they are. Excellent. Right, so I'll finish the test drive there. I did manage to get another test drive in or review and test drive before Christmas, so uh, although I've probably wish most of you a happy Christmas and a prosperous new year last week, um, all I can say is, <laughs> again, ditto. Merry Christmas, happy new year, and uh, keep watching. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting us, thanks to all our customers, everybody who works with us, 
all my Twitter followers, all my YouTube followers. Um, thank you. Much appreciated. Ta-da.